In this video tutorial, you will learn how to remove the sidebar in WordPress. The sidebar appears differently when a user is viewing your site from a mobile device. Due to the reduced width of the screen size, sidebars that appear on right or left on the desktop are moved to the bottom on mobile screens. Some website owners feel that removing the sidebar helps improve user experience. As you can see, the sidebar on this website does not serve any purpose and I want to remove it. If you want to do the same, first log into your cPanel account. Then click on File Manager. Since I am working on my subdomain, I will look for that folder. If you are working on your main domain, then open this folder called Public HTML. Double click on the folder to open it. Look for the folder named WP Content. Open the folder. Here, we have another folder called Teams. Open this folder as well. This folder contains all the installed Teams on your website. Now, open the folder with your currently active Teams name. So, my currently active team is 2016. So, I will open that folder. WordPress Teams are made up of different templates. So, you will need to edit all the templates where a sidebar is displayed. Look for the file named index.php. Right click on the file. You can download the file as a backup here. Then click on edit. This pop-up is nothing but a reminder to backup your file. So click on edit again. Now in this file, you have to locate your sidebar code, which will look like this. If your team comes with multiple sidebars, you will see different instances of this code with a sidebar name inside the function. Delete this piece of code. Then save the changes and close the file. Let's head back to the website to see if it worked. I will just reload the page. And as you can see, the sidebar is now gone. But the content area is still appearing with the same width leaving the sidebar area empty. That's because your team has defined the width for the content area. Now that the sidebar is gone, you need to adjust the width of the content area by adding custom CSS to your team. Back in your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, then click on Customize. Now click on Additional CSS. And just add this piece of code here. I will put it in the description below. And as you can see in the preview, the width is now adjusted. All you have to do now is click on Publish to save the changes. This is how you can remove the sidebar in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.